Hello everyone and welcome to Evic Europe Studios for a new video. My name is Max and I have the pleasure of being your host. Today we'll take a look at some things that many beginners should be aware of and that could help them prevent doing bad endings with their newly received airsoft gun. When receiving an automatic electric gun, better known as an AG and probably the most commonly seen airsoft gun on the skirmish fields, there are a few things that are recommended to do. Indeed, your baby may have spent months in storage, sometimes even years, waiting for a customer to buy it, and most of the time, nobody ever checked it when it left the factory. You'll be the first one to ever take care of it. That's so sad. You have to be gentle with it. Imagine your higher 15, alone in its box, waiting in the dark, day after day after day, until feeling that it's been taken out of its shelf, put into a car, traveling for hours without seeing its surroundings. Eventually, hearing the voice of its new owner, thanking the delivery man when he's grabbing the box before opening it in a blinding light. And then, the owner puts a few BBs into the high cap magazine, inserts it, as well as the included battery, into his new airsoft gun, fires a few shots in full auto. But only a few BBs come out, and with very few power, and after a few seconds of screeching noise, the IG stops shooting completely. Why? Newly received IG! Why? Well, that's because you forgot to be gentle with it. You brute. When taking an IG out of its box for the first time, before doing anything else, you must clean its inner barrel of all the dust that may have accumulated during all these months spent in storage. So, as a first step, grab a cleaning roll. It may be included with your airsoft gun, but if not, a 4mm thick plastic rod can do the trick. Tear apart a small strip of paper towel or tissue and insert it into the flat buckle at the end of the cleaning roll. If you use a makeshift cleaning roll, you won't have the flat buckle, but just use some duct tape. When done, spray or pour some fuel camp on the strip, and then slide the roll at first into the inner barrel until you reach your hard point. Don't try to push, it's your upper bucking. You could rip it up if you go full force on it. Then, move the roll back and forth softly a few times before removing it. You should notice that the tissue is dirty with dust and grease. Repeat the previous operation again and again, each time with a new strip of tissue until it comes out clean. Now that the barrel is clean, let's check a critical part that many players, both experimental and beginners, often forget. Charging the battery on receipt. Most of the time it's a cheap NIMH battery, a small gift from the manufacturer. Or you may have taken an extra battery in your order because your airsoft gun is not issued with one. Whatever the situation, always consider that your newly received battery is almost empty. It also may have spent months in storage and the initial charge may have been slowly drained out during this time. So if you put directly your brand new battery into your airsoft gun and shoot a few shots, you may discharge it completely below the point of no return. Don't do that. So the best thing to do is to plug your battery on your battery charger and make sure it's fully charged before using it for the first time. But don't forget to put your eyeglasses first, even if no magazine is inserted. Who knows what's inside the barrel? By now you should have noticed that the sound of your AG is... Ugh. That's because your AG is motor. The parts that drive the whole internal mechanical assembly is not well placed. Your motor's height must be adjusted. It's pretty easy to do. It only requires a fully charged battery, a screwdriver, and a small X key for the most common replicas, the AR15 and the AK families. On these AEGs, the motor is hidden into the pistol grip and can be accessed from the motor. On the AR15 family, that includes M4s and M16s, most of the time you won't need more than a flat blade screwdriver. More uncommon is the need for a large X key. On the AK family, you must first unscrew the pistol grip with either a Phillips or a flat blade screwdriver, then remove it to access the motor cage. 
There's a teeny hole at the bottom that can fit a small X key. You will notice that the sound of your AG changes depending on the way you go. It's because the motor head either forces on the gearbox's gears or releases them. If too much force is applied, your gears won't move freely and you will have overconsumption of your battery charge resulting in a small battery use time. If it's too loose, the motor head will have difficulties driving the gear and eventually the spring inside the gearbox, resulting in possible misfire. Not to mention that it will wear your gears and motor heads taste quickly, eventually leading to a head turning freely inside the gearbox. It may take you several tries to find the best position. The sound made by the shots shouldn't be neither low nor high pitched. Here we are, a lovely song to make my enemies cry. Now you know everything you should do when first using your new age. If you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to see all future productions by Edit Europe Studios. Have a great day, see you soon buddies and play well.